And now it says undoing changes made to your computer. Oh no, same message. Attempting to recover installation. I think we're in some kind of a loop. Today I'll show you how to fix this when you have this exact same problem on your computer. Okay, now we need to get into the Windows Advanced Start option. To do that, you first have to power up. And on my machine, I think it's F11 key that I have to press rapidly. On some machines, it's F12, F10, could be F11, could be F1 or F2, or delete keys. But on my machine, it's F11 to get into this advanced start option. If you cannot get into it, we need a USB disk with Windows 10 bootable image. If you do not know how to create one, please click the link in the video and you can learn how to create one of those bootable Windows 10 disks. I'm going to plug this in to my laptop. On many computers, it will boot from USB automatically when you plug in one of those uh, USB bootable disks. If it doesn't boot automatically as soon as you plug it in, then you have to manually boot from the USB drive. How to do that? On this one, it was F10. I have to rapidly press the F10 as soon as I turn it on. But on some laptops, you have to press F12, F11, could be F1 or F2, or could be delete key. But on mine, it was F10 to enter the BIOS to uh, change the boot order. Okay, I'm changing the boot order. I have to make this one. I have to send this one to the top. Okay, F6. Now this one is on the top. And this will let me boot from the USB disk that I just plugged in. Press save and exit, F10. F10, save. Exit saving changes, yes. Uh, do you see repair your computer? Now in here we can try many things to fix the undoing changes to your computer error. We can go to troubleshoot. We can go to advanced options. In here we can try many things. We can try go back to the previous version of Windows or we can try the system restore. I'll try the system restore first. Choose the system restore. There's your computer account. Click that. If there is any password, enter the password and click continue. Oh, okay, we're not lucky because we don't have any restore points. That means we cannot really restore these windows to the previous restore points. If I hit cancel, let's go to troubleshoot advanced option and let's try this one now go back to the previous version this will simply go back to the previous version of your Windows 10 you don't try to go back to the moment just before you apply the new updates so I'll click go back to the previous version okay we are in a problem because it says we ran into a problem and won't be able to take you back to the previous version of Windows Try resetting your PC instead. Now we can click troubleshoot and there is our option reset this PC. If you choose this you'll see two different options. One says keep my files, one says remove everything. Probably you'll want to choose the first option. Go ahead and try to do a reset. For me both of the reset and the factory reset didn't work. So I had to disassemble my laptop to remove the hard drive to make a backup. Then I formatted my hard drive and reinstalled Windows 10. That is how I did overcome the Windows update issue. If you find this video useful, you can like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this in the future. Bye!